Mostly sunny on Thursday, chilly to start, but mild to finish. Good Wednesday night, East Tennessee. David Aldridge, Captain Accurate here from the Captain Accurate Weather Command Center. Well, you can see we have frost advisories in blue in western North Carolina, just across the state line. That runs till 8 o'clock tomorrow morning. Now, there are, I repeat, are no frost advisories in East Tennessee or southeast Kentucky. Now, that's curious because I think we could be in the mid-30s in places like Middlesboro and Jonesville. Could be close. So if you're wanting to be extra careful, just know it's going to be a little bit colder well north of La Follette overnight tonight. By the way, the Ultimate Doppler Radar presented by Madlock Tire Service and Auto Repair, East Tennessee's number one tire shop and auto repair since 1953, has five convenient locations. So if you're overdue for an oil change or maybe you new, need a new set of tires, uh, tell them Captain Accurate sent you. What's interesting to see, though, with the blue, that's the frost advisories in western North Carolina, that kind of pinkish color in Georgia, uh, is the fire concern because if fires were to be uh, set off, uh, it could spread rapidly with low relative humidity and some winds. But the big story, at least maybe within 350 miles, would have been what's been happening in West Virginia. Not everywhere in West Virginia, but the higher terrain has seen some unusual snow in the month of May. You say, May? Don't they close the ski resorts in May? Yes, they do. Much sooner. In fact, probably, uh, probably in early April. But in Snowshoe did pick up seven inches of snow. This was reported at 642 this morning. This is Pocahontas County. Now you may have some snowboarders or skiers in your family, maybe kids or grandkids. They head up to Snowshoe. They might be very familiar with this area. They got seven inches of snow. Oh, and further north, they had 10.1 inches of snow in Davis, West Virginia. That's Tucker County. Uh, showed a picture from Diane Ladyhawk of Thomas, West Virginia. That's about three miles away from this place. So it's amazing. Higher terrain, can make a world of difference. We know that to be true of Clemens Dome, Mount Leconte, Chimney Tops, all the rest. Even Newfound Gap has a vastly different experience than we do down in the valley. But it is interesting. It is May. They had some snow. Headlines talking chilly to start, mild to finish on Thursday. Showers in the afternoon develop Friday. Friday night's probably the soggiest time frame, and it carries right into Saturday with the need for an umbrella at times. It'll be warmer to round out this week and early next, but it will also stay unsettled with about a 40% chance of showers and storms early next week. Low temperatures this morning for context was 43 Knoxville, closer to 50 or 49 in Morristown, Newport. That was only 52 in Sevierville, but I'm looking at Oneida. That was chilly, 41. And this morning, it was 39 Athens, Teleco Plain. So imagine if we drop this by 3 degrees in most locations, maybe more, especially where it shows green. Uh, we're not going to be anywhere near 50 overnight because we have clear skies. Almanac today, we finished the day at 67. I was expecting 65 off by 2. I was also expecting a wind gust peak around 25, and we had a 28 at 1136. Sun goes down at 824, but the normal high is 76 this time of year. Our low is 10 degrees below normal. Record high from the 1890s was 90 degrees. Our high temperature hit 69 in Oak Ridge, 67 in Knoxville, and you'll notice in Morristown, uh, we hit 63. So again, temperatures are going to be about three or four degrees warmer tomorrow. In many locations, don't be surprised uh, as we warm up in the afternoon with a light wind, about three to eight miles per hour. Not as windy tomorrow. High temperature hit 67. That's a misprint there. But it was 70 in Chattanooga, Nashville, and Jackson. Notice the winds coming out of the northwest aloft. These are the cold areas that you see in blue. The colder air, about 5,000 feet, just pouring down, which is why they've had snow in West Virginia. But this all transfers to the warmer air in the coming days by Saturday. As we head into Sunday, temperatures start to warm up well into the 70s to around 80. By Monday, we should be in the mid-80s. Mid-80s by Monday. Say, that's amazing. A pattern looks like it's changing. And it is. Storm Prediction Center, marginal and slight. These are the isolated scattered categories. We're looking at Texas, Oklahoma for tomorrow. So if you have family in this area, make sure they have the Captain Accurate Weather app. It works across the country and the globe. But there's also a chance for some isolated severe storms in Tennessee on Friday around Memphis. Not here, but parts of northern Mississippi, eastern Arkansas may in fact get some isolated stronger storms. Now here's the future cast. Notice this big bubble, no trouble. That rolls in tomorrow morning. That also allows our temperatures to escape into space. It's like having the blanket removed from the bed or the couch, and you go, man, I'm cold. It's kind of chilly. Well, it's still raining in parts of West Virginia or Maryland. We keep this high pressure close by by Thursday afternoon. But eventually, here comes the warm front, 7 o'clock in the morning. You said it's going to be here in the afternoon. Yeah, it will be here in the afternoon. It will be developing. So let's see how we do by the afternoon. You see some showers at 12, 12.15. Well, not yet. 
But it's getting close, Aldrich. I know, I know. Just be patient. So Friday afternoon, warm front gets a little closer, and we bring in some showers like this. So for the drive home, the wipers are going back and forth, back and forth, and it's kind of like a sloppy way to end the work week because of the warm front. But eventually more rain comes in Friday night and Saturday. All this comes down. I think this will actually pick up a little bit more than what you see. And then it eventually tries to work its way out. So we've got a 40% chance of rain now on Saturday because most of it will occur Friday afternoon and Friday night. So for tonight, look, pick out your favorite town. Do you see why I think frost advisories may, may be close for Jonesville? They're at 35. Middlesbrough, 36. They may have some sheltered, maybe some frost in some sheltered valleys, maybe some fog there. But 39 in Oak Ridge wouldn't surprise me. If we start the morning in Crossville at 37, that too would not surprise me. Oneida, 36. This is kind of chilly, but this is the last hurrah. What winter is trying to show, maybe a, a, it's not going out without a fight, right? Plenty of stars in Chile. We're down to 40, though, at McGee Tyson. That's my expectation with light and variable winds. Then we move into your day tomorrow. We should be around, he says, around 70. Mostly sunny, chilly to mild winds, about 3 to 8 miles per hour. Not that windy tomorrow at all. In fact, it's a nice break from what we've had. 68 for Morristown, Russellville, White Pine, 68 Wartburg and Sunbright, 71 for Jacksboro, La Folla, as well as Duff, and 71 for Madisonville and Teleco Plains by tomorrow afternoon, about 74 Oak Ridge. Now, here's your Captain Accurate Weather Authority forecast for Knoxville, East Tennessee. I made it very deliberate to put an 80% chance there between Friday and Saturday because that's the main event. And then by the time the sun comes up Saturday, I can't say it's going to be you're all clear because there could be some flare-ups, a few showers pop up, a few thunderstorms, blah, da da But then we move into a much warmer pattern, mid-80s by Monday, low 80s on Tuesday and Wednesday uh, with a better chance of rain. Uh, looks like a 40% anyway, Saturday through Tuesday. By the way, you can keep track of it all using the Captain Accurate Weather app with Pete Michaels Traffic. It's free. Just go to the App Store Google Play. What I love about the app is that you can get Pete Michaels Traffic just a tap of the button. Just tap the button, it'll play it. You don't have to wait for the radio. I mean, the radio is great, but you don't have to wait for the radio to play the most current traffic report that Pete Michaels has provided us on the app. So you've got to love that, and it's free, and it works on your iPad as well. My name is David Aldridge. Some people call me Captain Accurate. It's not easy being accurate, so weather doesn't surprise you. We'll see you here next time. Take care. <laughs>